What's up, guys? Unknown Souls Kick here. Back again with another shock drop. Geeked up, sneaked up, sneaked up, geeked up. We got another shock drop. This was a very quiet shock drop. It dropped roughly, I'll say, 9 o'clock Central Time with the regular basic dropping on sneakers. It was super quiet. Alright, guys. So, as you can see... From the name on the box, I finally got me a pair. Like I said, this was a quiet shop drop. It just came out of nowhere. I was able to cop me a pair on sneakers. I'll say like maybe like a week ago. Um, I finally got me a pair. I was very interested in copying the previous colorways, but I was not able to cop. As I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, the first John Morant that came out was was it is it was I think it was four fifty. I'm gonna go ahead and say I think it was four hundred and fifty dollars. So that was a little out of my price range. Uh, ja is a new sneaker. He's a, he's a, he's a new uh, basketball player that was able to obtain his own signature sneaker from Nike. So I feel like just off, just looking off the box, off the rip, he did a very good job with the box as far as like presentation, uh, making you want to get the sneaker. Of course, you know, a lot of times things start with the box and uh, you go from there. So this is Ja Morant's basic signature icon. Um, like I said, like I showed you earlier on the box, that's his uh, name going across which is always nice uh number 12 is also on the box and he have the the miracle 12 slashes as well on the box so which is cool and the basic nike on this side so let's go ahead and get into the unboxing of this shoe Just basically offhand, when I'm first looking at the shoe, it kind of gives me the KD, Kyrie, LeBron type of vibes as far as like the color version and the color blocking schemes of the shoes. It gives off a little moralized uh, viewing when I when a shoe first catches my eye. I like the fact that it has like the muted tones for the shoes and the majority of his shoes um, that he previously dropped displays muted colorways which is always nice uh instead of the basic um just your basic black and white shoe this is a basketball shoe and for what i'm hearing it's nice and comfortable it's uh has a lot of support so from what i'm hearing it is a durable shoe i like um the if you notice like on the john Morant's, the nike swoosh comes all the way around from the side to the back um panel of the actual shoe and you can actually move it it's adjustable nike strap which is which is very different and dope and it, it displays a lot of mesh material on the shoe as well as some basic tumble perforated leather on the shoe as well it, I, it looks for my looks it looks like it just comes with one pair of laces and the laces does match the outing of the outsole of the actual shoe which is more like a hot orange uh which is something that also stands out and you got your two-tone texture on the bottom outsole of the shoe which is uh, i want to say i don't want to say sky blue more like a, a light light teal um separated with the black portion in the john Morant emblem the bottom portion of the tongue it's it's a uh, it feels like a it's not leather it just feels like a different type of cotton nylon texture and the upper part of the tongue has some leather on it it's just it, to me it just looks like a nice comfortable shoe that you can play in so the color blocking for the actual shoe is melon tint rush fuchsia black so these are the jaw one uh eybl so i'm not sure if the eybl actually have 
if they all have this shoe but like i said this is probably i'll say roughly like the fourth release of the job ones and to me like he's off to a good start as far as his uh on sneaker collaboration with nike he just need to clean up some things like i said i'm not here to judge um but i believe in him i think uh things will uh be better for him moving forward and this has the multi-color I'm not sure. I mean, it, it kind of reminds me of like the little tie dye version on the back portion. Extended TPU Nike uh, check that goes all around the shoe is very dope and very different. I don't think that I've seen a shoe that actually came uh, with the extended TPU. The uh, pool tab as far as like the EYBL League uh, basketball icon that they have on it as well. One thing I noticed about the EYBL um it's just it's just nice to the fact that uh ja actually made a shoe as far as transparent to the the youth basketball elite youth basketball league so shout out to ja for that so i'm pretty sure that i haven't seen them in this colorway but i'm pretty sure that they were they're they're playing in this colorway as well and on the inside of the tongue portion again it's his number and also, guys, it's some nice features on the shoe, as well as Ja Morant wearing number 12 on his jersey. He have 12 a.m. throughout the shoe, as well as his signature throughout the shoe in his own personal handwriting. So the 12 a.m. on the shoes, on the side, the front portion, the inner tongue throughout the shoe, it just represents the grind doesn't stop just because it's 12 a.m. You still have to have that mentality that the grind doesn't stop and you have to keep going. So he does workouts at 12 a.m. So basically, that's a nice little cool mindset to have the put on your shoes to let everyone know that you can do anything long as you grind. So I see a portion of it on the front uh, heel of the shoe. I see it on the side. Notice there's another part with his fingerprint with JA on the inside of it. And it says Midnight Series. Again, representing that 12 a.m. grind doesn't stop. And I know the, the previous version of the shoe, he actually wrote it out at the bottom midsole of the shoe. Just basically, um, and I was also told as well that the traction on this shoe is not your basic traction. The traction on this shoe is meant for his play style as far as cutting to the basket, starting and stopping, crossover, stopping to shoot a jumper. This traction is made specialized for his game style play, which is always good so you won't uh tear your acl or break an ankle or anything so like i said that 120 price point for all the features that you received on the shoe you can't beat it so uh if you're thinking about copping the shoes guys hopefully i gave you some inside information on the shoe that you guys did not know about the jama rants and i noticed one thing that these shoes do run true to size so if you wear uh 11 men i would say go ahead and get 11 men and they're breathable because of the mesh mesh material on them it's a lot of breathable fabric on here so guys like i said overall i think this is a dope shoe um he's heading in the right direction as far as his signature shoe and it kind of like i said it does kind of give me the little Kyrie kd vibe mainly the little Kyrie vibe because it is a low top portion basketball shoe but like again like i said uh if, you, if you're if you have a problem with like your feet sweating when you play sports or whatever when you're running and playing basketball this will be the ideal shoe for you because it's it has a lot of breathable material on it i think he did a nice job with the price point of this shoe it's a nice shoe just like i said a lot of muted color tone blocking he put inside this shoe so again i just wanted to go ahead and review this shock drop that i was able to pick up my first pair of john Morant's. i think like i said he did an excellent job this is a nice silhouette with the stitching the mesh material because again this is a basketball shoe 
So, guys, if you're thinking about getting the Jama Ranch for your kids or for yourself, hopefully I showed you some pointers on the shoe. I broke down a little bit of what type of materials they contain or some meaning to the shoe as well. So, I thank you for watching the video. Geeked up, sneaked up, sneaked up, geeked up. And we out. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.